What's going on guys, Dakota here and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be installing the Goose Gear Solo Fridge Slide in the standard size and I also got the cutting board with it. Really excited about this because it will make, you know, kind of when we do those longer, like overnight or multiple night camping trips and off-road trips, a little bit easier to, you know, just pull the fridge out, slide it back in, as opposed to me having to figure out different ways to strap it down and keep it from shaking all over the place. So I'm really excited about it. So we're gonna go ahead and install it in the Bronco. As you guys can see, uh, if you guys watched the previous video where I installed the kind of plate system here, we're gonna go ahead and see if I can find a good spot for it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so the first few minutes were me just kind of fiddling around with the slide, just trying to get it lined up with the holes, the mounting holes there on the platform. Took a little bit to, to do, and I just kind of wanted to test it out and just loosely install the screws. So now that I think I have it in the right spot, I'm just kind of, you know, finagling it around and lining the holes up with these spots. You get eight 11 millimeter screws, eight washers, and then eight little, uh, whatever you call these things, I forgot what they are, little like spacers. So basically you're just gonna put two here, two here, two here, and two here. And again, just kind of line it up to how you think you want it. So it's just gonna be kind of trial and error, just testing it out, seeing if I like it. And then once we get everything nailed down, then uh, we know we'll kind of test it, put the fridge in there and just make sure it doesn't tip over. As you guys can see, if I start to push it a little more, all the way out there, it starts to want to come up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just loosely fit these for the moment and see how it works. update I've got six of the eight screws um, in place they're not tightened down they're just kind of you know hand tight at the moment because for whatever reason if I get these lined up I can't get those lined up whether it's this way or whether it's this way I can't get them to line up so I've got one here and as you can see there is no other hole you see it's kind of like right there not in a good spot and then here you can't even see the other one so i'm gonna try it with six and so i'm gonna tighten these down we're gonna put the fridge in here and then i'm gonna try it and see if there's any type of like movement or anything like that with the weight i would assume six out of eight is fine if not then you know i'll have to kind of relook at it and also you know we'll see if this is kind of where i actually want the slide to be at the moment i think it is you know, I might want to move it maybe further towards the, the back, but I feel like when I pull this all the way out, have the fridge there, and then kind of have the, the cutting board coming out here in this area, I feel like that would be good. So we're going to try it. Worst case scenario, I can just unscrew it and move it around. But at the moment, the hardest thing about this is just getting this lined up with uh, the mounting holes. There it is. So now what I'm going to do is kind of, we're going to go grab the fridge, put it here, just kind of see uh, how it works. Okay, so it looks like that works. Um, I don't see, it doesn't seem to be, if I put a little pressure on here, it doesn't seem to be shaking or anything over there. It seems to be holding up good. The cutting board right here. The only issue that I've noticed is opening this up. It hits the uh, speaker right there. So, you know, might have to move it over just a little bit, but this is a lot easier than having to undo some tie down straps that I had to it. And the only other thing left that I have to do is by the, uh, I'm gonna get the goose gear straps that kind of strap it down here just because it's just simple it's easy so 
that's what I'm gonna do. And this is this is really nice. I actually really like this. Um, it's not super big, but it's big enough to, you know, you could set some stuff on here. So that's just just nice to have. Just a little bonus if you guys want. There's obviously plenty of different aftermarket tailgate tables you can buy. But being as how I didn't take out that seat and I took out this seat, it wouldn't make sense for me to have that and a tailgate table because then it'd kind of get in the way, but is what it is. But at the moment, I think I really like that because it doesn't take up any of this space. So you can still put camping stuff here. You can still fold this down. You can still put stuff up at, up at the front there. And again, this is a CFX three 45 liter fridge which is and this is the standard size slide so um it fits perfectly fine plenty of room there as you guys can see here the the tie downs for the handles and just to show you guys the back here so again here's the back this is where i've got it mounted so you can still fit stuff behind here if i put the seat back a little bit you can kind of see there's still a little bit of storage space back there plus you still have that third seat again which you can fold so Pretty happy with it you can squeeze some stuff in here on the side as well so yeah i think that looks pretty sweet all right guys so there you have it pretty straightforward install the most difficult thing about it was simply lining up those freaking holes it is what it is so, yeah, so far it seems really solid seems really sturdy if i open it up um you know put some weight on it i don't hear it anything vibrating or anything like that so oh, i love that that's a satisfying noise by the way that click this is really, really well made, by the way, guys. This is, it's very heavy. Um, it's not like some super lightweight, dinky stuff. This is really high quality. Um, I mean, I know I've only spent about an hour with it at the moment, but it's very high quality. So yeah, guys, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe, and hopefully we will get to test this out very soon the only thing i need to do is get some straps for it so hopefully we'll test it out pretty soon and kind of some uh a little bit longer adventures that are just like a day trip um i'm really happy with that now because now i don't have to use straps to kind of go across it and press it down then undo the straps and pop it open you know so pretty happy with the setup and again i really like that i can still put plenty of stuff here if i want to i can fold this seat down and put some camping stuff there so that's really awesome. So yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.